the areas that I've really wanted to update since moving into our home is the stair railing banister that goes all the way up our stairs. I just started ripping out the carpet the other day. That's as far as I got before all of the dust got to me. Um, and today I am moving on because that project takes a lot of time and I really like to see progress. So I am switching gears. I will pull out the rest of the carpet in just a little bit when we figure out exactly what we are doing with the stairs. But in the meantime, I'm gonna work on the railings and the spindles because we are going to be painting them white. One of the reasons that I was a little bit nervous about this project was thinking of sanding each one of these spindles. There's even a few more at the very, very top of the stairs. And I did not wanna do that. So when I started looking into chalk paint and realizing that all it recommends is for you to do a nice cleaning, I was all about that. So I grabbed some chalk paint and I'm gonna do a real quick cleaning and then we'll get started painting. So you can just make a cleaning solution. You can do one part white vinegar with two parts warm water and just a drop of Dawn, or this is just the Walmart brand, but some of the um, blue dish liquid and it will help you to wash down the wood before you get started painting. This is a great alternative to having to sand. So we are going to be using this Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in Linen White. And this is what we're gonna use for the spindles up and down the stairs. We're gonna go get started. So I'm just giving each one of the spindles a nice cleaning all around making sure that there is nothing on here that would prevent the paint from sticking. And once I get them all done, I will grab my paint and my paintbrush. So I just have this, this is this one and a half inches little tiny chip brush. Um, I love these brushes. I think they're so much greater than spending a lot of money on a more expensive one because you can just use them and throw them away, but you can also wash them and reuse them. But I think that they do a great job getting into every little area that you need for the paint. So I'm just gonna start applying and making sure that I get into all the areas, but also keep it a nice smooth finish as I'm going down. This dog would like to paint with me. No, buddy, you can't paint with me. No, no, buddy. So I will do anything that it takes <laughs> to not have to tape. I think that uh, doing all the prep work for a project is my least favorite part of it. I just love to jump right in and, and start seeing some progress and getting it done, which is why I started on the carpet and got bored of that part and decided to move on to painting. So obviously you can and should tape as you are going along, um, but I chose to start with the white and get all the spindles done in white without having to tape. <laughs> And then when I come back and I start with the dark stain, which I'm gonna be adding to some of the areas, then I will tape and make sure that I don't get any of that on the white spindles. Sometimes I just kind of go for it and hope that I don't make any mistakes, and sometimes that works out wonderfully. Um, but definitely, if you are worried about your steady hand, uh, make sure to get some painter's tape and tape your project as you go along. So I'm just gonna keep painting and get a first coat on all of these spindles, and then I will let it dry and add a second coat. Okay, so I have the first coat done of the white on the spindles and it literally already is starting to look more modern and more updated. I like it, I'm excited. I'm gonna let this dry for just a little while and then I will put on the second coat. Okay, so I have finished 
the down area of the spindles. And now I am beginning these, there's only four skinny ones and then the really big fat one at the end to finish up here. And I have already cleaned all of these spindles and now I'm just gonna give them their first coat. Okay, so I have almost all of the carpet off and I have decided to do the entire side piece white as well as if you can see the top two stairs, the back of the stairs are going to be white and of course the white down the side. So I'm going to do dark on the handrail, dark on the trim. Um, that's going to be in the next video. This one is all about how to redo your stairs without having to sand. So I just wanted to show you how I have done two full coats. And then I go back and just do a smidge of touch up. There's just a couple places that need a little bit more. So it does take three coats of paint, which really two and then just touch ups um, in order for the paint to cover. But I did not sand. So that saved me so much time. Also, look how cute the puppy is. Hi puppy. You want to say hi? <gasps> say hi. So we're getting Let's there. See. It's looking really good. However, these last few stairs need uh, the carpet removed and it has been quite a challenge, I must say. These ones were hard enough, but man, these ones that are just the little side ones, they're tricky. Okay, so, so here we go. It looks so much better already. Even if I didn't finish the dark, it really does look updated and it looks just fresh. So I will finish the stairs and I will finish the stain in my next video. So check that out. I'm so excited for this to be done. So just to show you again what product I chose to use, it's the Rust-Oleum Chalked and I got the Linen White paint. Um, this is just a quart and I was surprised at how far it really went. They carry this product on Amazon, so if you just check in the description down below, I'll provide the link for you. It comes in tons of different colors, and it was about $20 for the quart that I bought. Not too bad. Thanks for watching.